All right, I'm gonna tell you about a feature called Magic Models in Cogulator. If you're not familiar with comms or human performance modeling or cognitive modeling, this feature is perfect for you. It makes it really easy to get in and start getting useful stuff out of Cogulator without a lot of prior knowledge beforehand. So let's just jump right into Cogulator and see how this feature works. Okay, so we've got a nice empty model here. To get started, all we need to do is press the Magic Model button right here. We've got two options, one we can model in a desktop interface or we can do a smartphone. Now the idea here is we're going to demonstrate how to complete some task using the smartphone and Cogulator will automatically turn that into GOMS for us. So I'm going to do two tasks. The first one, dialing from my favorites menu on my smartphone and the second using SpeechRec to dial someone. So let's see how this works. Now this requires a little bit of imagination. But on my smartphone, the phone app icon is right here in the bottom left. So the first thing I do is click that icon. Clicking on the grid there puts a touch point and automatically generates the GOMS code. Once I get inside the phone app, uh, I need to click my favorites button. My favorites button, as it happens, is also in the bottom left corner. So I'll click there again. Then I'm just going to simulate dragging through the list or swiping through the list to get to the name of interest. Let's just do two swipes. To do that, I just drag the grid up, one swipe, two swipes, and then let's say the name is somewhere right about here. I'll click there. All right, I built my model. Now all I need to do is click the check button and it'll pull it into the main window here. So 6.1 seconds to complete that model. Uh, if I want to be done, I can call it a day. I don't need to do anything else. I built a model in Cogulator. However, I could, if I wanted to, just go in and add some information. So at 6.1 seconds right now, I'm going to add some context. This won't change anything about the task time, but it'll just make it uh, easier to go back and see what this model is all about later. So open the phone app. All right, put that in. Again, still 6.1 seconds, but now when I go back, I know what this step was. And then this step was goal, open, favorites. Okay, I won't go through all this, but just to give you a sense of how this works. Uh, the other thing I can do, of course, is change some of the steps. So for example, if I want to go down here where the swipes are, um, I could change this to a search instead of a look. Search for John and carry that all the way through. Okay, so that's how you build a magic model in the first case. Now let's look at our second example, and this is gonna be SpeechRec. Again, I've got a blank model already up and ready to go. I'm gonna click on the magic model button. I'm gonna click on the phone again. Now, for SpeechRec, uh, we get that started by pressing and holding on the home button on the phone. So I'm gonna press and hold, and that brings up the SpeechRec interface. So wants me to type in the speech rec command. So what I do is uh, on my phone, I say call, let's say John. And once I've entered the speech rec command, then I can press the enter key. And it says, if there's an oral response, enter that. So uh, when I say call John, my phone says dialing John. I'm gonna press enter again, and I've finished that model. I'm gonna hit the check button. And here we are with a magic model with SpeechRec. This says about 4.8 seconds if I'm going to do this task via SpeechRec. So, had about 6.8 seconds here and 4.8 seconds here. So we save about 2 seconds. That's of course assuming the SpeechRec works perfectly and we all know that's probably not going to happen. But if we make that assumption about 4.8 seconds, again I could change anything I wanted to here, but the important point is the magic models feature gets us way ahead in the code and of course if we don't want to touch any of the goms that's absolutely fine too uh, so that's magic models in a nutshell